Welcome back to Witness. Two schools in Nablus is a unique insight into the huge significance in Palestine of the Taujihi, the final school exams. By now, Taujihi is almost over, but the anxious wait for the students is about to begin. Nabla city was once the economic capital of Palestine, with booming industries famous for products like olive oil soap and sweets like kanafa. But since the Intifada in 2000 and the subsequent Israeli clampdown, the combined factors of movement restrictions and violence have decimated Nablus's economy. According to the United Nations, municipal revenues from the vegetable market dropped 90% in the years directly after the Intifada. With so few opportunities in Nablus, many students now rely on studying subjects that could lead to jobs abroad. Tarek wants to study law, but to do so, he needs at least 79%. This is a high grade, and Tarek needs to stick to a rigorous revision schedule. Mahmoud, on the other hand, isn't studying quite so hard. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and today is the last day of exams. I can't believe that we will finish our exams. After exams, we, we are blinding uh, me and my friends to go to swim. After a grueling 20 days, the exams are now over, and it's time for students to let their hair down, Nabla style. Today is the last school day that the students will be together. Next year will be all change. I really will uh, miss the school, and my friends, maybe he will go outside, I'm still here. We will be separated. Some students will go on to university in Nablus, others outside of Nablus, and some even abroad. While others will start work, all depends on the results they anxiously await for the next three weeks. Today is the day everyone's been waiting for. All over Nabla, students, parents and teachers anxiously await the results of the Taujihi exams. School by school, the results are broadcast on the radio. The students eagerly gather round. Results are given in alphabetical order, and with 80 secondary schools citywide, each school will have to play a waiting game. Um, 
But for Haja Rushda Girls School, they don't have to wait long. The results haven't been broadcast, but Basima Akka, the head teacher, receives a fax from the Ministry of Education listing the results. It's the moment of truth for Masar. Massar has done it. 76% means she will definitely get onto the journalism course. And it's good news for Zed as well. With 82%, he'll have no problems getting onto the law course. I'm burning my bus and being ready to the future. For Mahmoud, however, he will not be going to university. He failed his Tawjihi and won't be retaking. For Tariq as well, the news is not good. He only got 65% and won't now be able to follow his dream of studying law. It's the end of a long, hard year for the students and teachers of Nablus. The schools have dealt with overcrowding, Israeli raids, student imprisonments, and even the death of one of the students. But through it all, the schools of Nablus have remained dedicated to the ideal of education. But what now for this newest generation of Palestinians? وبالتالي فرص العمل عندنا شحيحة ألفة وبالتالي فرصتهم الوحيدة وأنا بذكر أو بعرف ومطلع إنه أغلبيتهم الآن بتجهوا إلى دول الخليج من أجل العثور على فرصة عمل. As the occupation continues to grip, more students attempted abroad. For those who remain, an uncertain future awaits. وطن ما بقومش إلا بالتكاتف. ذكور وإناث مع بعض ويبنوا هذا الوطن ويبنوا هذا البلد فهاي إنه بدنا نخرج وبدنا نترك البلد هذا حكي لا نوافق عليه إنه يكون وضعهم أفضل من وضعنا إنه ينعم بالحرية أكثر في ظل ظروف متحررة بعيدة عن التعقيدات والصعوبات والاجتياحات والاحتلال والإحباطات اللي موجودة حتى نصل إنه فعلا نصل إلى منزلة متقدمة بين الدول العالم Two schools in Nablus, a revealing glimpse into the realities of life in the occupied territories of Palestine. Thank you for watching and join me next time on Witness. <laughs>